Hi guys, Matt Andrews here with the one and only William Shatner, and today we're talking about his new book, Catch Me Up. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> where are we? Yeah, so I don't know. The floor is green and the, and the walls are black, so I'm not sure where we are. But let me ask you, just starting out, what was it that gave you the idea to write this book? What inspired you to write Catch Me Up? We know that in the, uh, in the downsizing economy that took place uh, just a short while ago, uh, a lot of people lost their jobs mm. and are getting the, a lot of uh, employment is, is back. But what is not back uh, to its former capacity are the people over the age of 50 mm. who are looking to, uh, to, to get work and are having difficulty, difficulty getting work. And the reason they're having difficulty is their needs are more than the younger people coming into the workforce. They are mature, they have responsibilities, they, they need more money, and the employers, uh, in some cases, are reluctant to, to pay that. And so there are a large group of people over the age of 50 who are having trouble getting back into the job market. Mm -hmm. My premise on the book is hire yourself. You have a list of skills, you have a list of things that you can do, hire yourself. But in order to do that, you've got to catch up to the technology that exists today that people like myself go, what? Where do you press what button? And, and mm -hmm. uh, It's too much. Right. And, I, and I'm not going to do it because I'll show how ignorant I am. It's not that difficult. Mm. Catch Me Up is a book that, that, wa uh, that rallies people to saying, look, you can employ yourself, and here's how you can employ yourself with the new technology today, and it's not that difficult. It's actually, if you know the right things to do, it's simple. And here's how you do it. And we have a website uh, that goes along with that, technological assist. But in order to do that, you get the book and you can promote yourself uh, as long as you catch up to the existing technology. That's great. And one of the phrases I heard in the book over and over again was, you are not done yet. So no matter what age you are, there's still something that you can do and you can take on new enterprises, new things at, at whatever age. Uh, exactly. At whatever age you are, as long as you can speak, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> even whisper, <laughs> great. you can do something. And you sat down and talked with a number of people. Well, that I you interviewed did. For this you book. know, I, I just gathered people around, looked for people that... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that uh, were an example of how to be an entrepreneur. And I spoke to them at great length. I spoke to them about what they wanted to do, what they, how they did it. Mm -hmm. and, and each person was unique in the way uh, they went about uh, doing it, about mm -hmm. employing themselves. Any particular stories that stick out to you? Well, from uh, so many. A guy did a coffee uh, plantation and he was a, a banker. But there was a guy in the Marine, and I don't know why this resonated more, almost more than anybody else, but there was a guy in the Marine shop. He loved to sail. He, was, he had a sailboat. Mm -hmm. And his family was out, I think it was Portland. And, and, he, and, he, and he had uh, the ability to get on the ocean. He loved it, and he worked in the Marine story but he wasn't satisfied mm. with it and one day a guy comes in another man comes in and he wants a marine rope and a lot of it and so uh, our, uh, our potential entrepreneur says well what do you want the uh, rope for and the guy says I'm, I'm, uh, I've got an alpaca farm the guy says an alpaca, alpaca. farm <laughs> and what is that so the gentleman describes what the alpacas are and what they do. Those are like llamas or something. Like yeah, that. alpaca yeah. and llamas are, are in the same family. Mm -hmm. so, so the man explains that alpacas have this hair that can be commercially uh, available mm -hmm. and, and sell for a price. And, and then you can sell alpacas to people who want to start their own farm. Mm -hmm. So the marine guy in the marine shop says, that sounds like what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And he and his wife go out to, in, in, inland uh, to see about alpacas, decides that's what, leaves the marine shop hmm. and, and starts off in this new business of alpacas and makes a success of it. There you and go. how he did it and why he did it and where he did it is one example in the book uh, that I use to demonstrate that what you need is ambition hmm. 
And from there on, you can get all kinds of technical help. Sure. And so he wasn't satisfied with what he was doing in his life at the time and, and made a change at a time when most people are afraid to make a change. Exactly. And that's really what the thrust of your book is about, is that's that right. you can do that whenever you want to at any age. So right. let me... So even if you're employed and you mm -hmm. want to change a job or you don't have a job and want to get a job, this is one way of approaching it. Sure. And you're not limited and having that mindset that you can do that is really what the central theme of that book is. Well, the central, yeah, exactly. The central theme of the book is that, but the core questions are interesting. Like, what do you want to do? Mm. What, is, what makes you happy? Mm. If what you want to do makes you happy, why not take this journey in making yourself happy? I've never understood why people retire. Hmm. What is that? Right. I'm retiring? To do what? To go fishing? Fishing's nice sure. for a weekend, mm. but then Monday rolls around and you're still fishing. I don't. I, I, that's not my taste. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that and that leads into another question I'd like to ask you. I mean, at this point in your career, you're as busy as ever. I mean, busy. you have new projects going all the time. Yes. You're constantly trying new things. Yes. Uh, new entrepreneurial activities. Yes. What is it that makes you wake up in the morning and say, "I want to try these new things"? How? Why are you well, invigorated to do that? Because. I have the opportunity to do it. Mm -hmm. I was given the opportunity to write this book, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm very conversant with being unemployed. An actor, every time he finishes a job, mm -hmm. a week, a month, six months, you're on a big motion picture and you work for six months. Right. You're on a series and you go five years. Mm -hmm. Frequently, what happens is you, people recognize you for that movie or that series, mm -hmm and they don't hire you for a long time. You're unemployed. Mm. You're walking around like anybody else who's unemployed, wondering where the next job is. Right. All my life, I thought, I'm not gonna wait around. I'm gonna make my own work, whether it's acting or writing or directing or, or other things. I'm mm. uh, designed a watch. I'm designing a motorcycle. I'm doing webisodes. I'm doing, uh, I, I'm doing a lot of other things that are related to creativity. Right. But I don't want to be unemployed. Mm. And that's my motivation in, in doing these various things because I'm given the opportunity and I, I, I'm trying to grasp it. Absolutely. And that's an inspiration to other people that are in those same areas that need to redefine themselves or have a second act. and and can go now and, and, and do that. And you're the inspiration for that. And that's well, what this book is about. I yes, love that. That's yes, fantastic. Yes. Now, this book you are launching on Kickstarter, which is a great example of trying a new thing or doing something different in your career. Uh, let's talk about you know, Kickstarter and what a cool opportunity that is for you to engage your friends and fans to let them be a part of it. Right. So you know, first, at first glance, I thought, no, I'm not going to do Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, banking on my name to raise money, and I, it, 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 it's sort of not my, my taste. Mm. But upon further reflection, I thought, I'm asking people in the book to use uh, 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 people like, entities like Kickstarter right. to start their own business. You can raise money on your own, your own money, mm -hmm. your relatives' money, or uh, banks or Kickstarter. Or, sure. So I thought, why not sell this book the way I'm advocating you sell yourself in the book? So I'm right. using the book's techniques to sell the book. You're your own case study, really. Yeah. Perfect example. If you right. were ever to write another book, I'd write a book on how this book was sold. Mm -hmm. So we're starting off in Kickstarter because you on Kickstarter are investing in this book, but you get a book. Right. So I'm not, you know, I'm giving something of value for, uh, for value given. And if you wish to go further along, we have further, further prizes for you. Absolutely, that's fantastic. And so guys, go to kickstarter.com, type in catch me up, and you can see all the details about this campaign that's going on right now, a really, really cool project. Now. Ideally, somebody buys the Catch Me Up book, reads it, and is inspired. What would be the best possible outcome for them? What would you like for them to be able to accomplish? Well, first of all, they book? read the book, mm -hmm. and they, uh, they're advised to go to kickstarter.com. Right. So they go to the website, and there, this technical genius, man, 
<laughs> you Me. will give them advice on how to do exactly what we're advocating, right. how to make a website, how to get on the social media, how to do all these technological things that at first glance are overwhelming to me. Sure. Overwhelming at first. The kids 25 and, and younger, Facebook, Twitter, uh, all those uh, social media uh, that are burgeoning, mm. it's as natural as picking up the telephone is to us. Right. But the pe people over 25, especially the people over 50, it's not. Mm. It's foreign. Like intimidating. You, it's intimidating. Yeah. What button do you push? I, I don't know. I'll make a fool of myself. Mm. You won't make a fool of yourself. And we, you, on the website, uh, advise them on how to do it. Great, great. And, you know, you told me at one point that you resisted technology, and you even said that in the Kickstarter video that for a while you didn't even have an email account. Right. Your grandkids had to teach you how to use Facebook. Talk about, you know, why you resisted technology and then what kind of made you embrace it and how that's changed your life? Well, for the, I resisted it for the very reason I just said. You feel like an idiot. Hmm. You know, you... You, uh, you don't like feeling like an idiot? I, <laughs> no, it's the familiar feeling of feeling like an idiot I want to get rid of. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, I, I, I just, uh, I don't know how to do that. And it's, uh, uh, I don't know. I, rather, I kept saying, why email? Why are you emailing? Hmm. Why don't you pick up the phone and say hello? And the warmth of the tone of the voice. And if you say, if you email, I love you, it's not the same as, hey, sure. I love you. It's not. Right. But by the same token, you can say I love you and get on with other things that you have to do. So it's a, 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 it's a quicker means of, 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 of communication. Right. And it doesn't have to mean any less, although it's not as warm as a human voice, which will never be, uh, uh, the place will never be taken. Sure. But... These modern things are, are useful and more and more useful as they become more and more humanized. Sure. Especially for people who are looking to redefine themselves at a later stage in life, knowing these things and being up on some of this new technology, not being an expert, but just being up to date. Yeah, is very well, there important. was a lady in the book, a lady who uh, was doing gardening and she needed some mulch and she found some mulch in Japan. and, and the, the, before she knew it, she had a million dollar industry hmm. importing mulch. Wow. All on, on, uh, on, on uh, social media, all on wow. the website. It's amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. It's an amazing story. So it's, it's a story that you've got to read to understand what she had done and where she went with it and how you, you can do the same. Absolutely. So catch me up. And the reason I love this project so much is because it does speak to the people who want to just learn something simple like how to Skype with their grandchildren, but it also speaks to people who might want to start a new business at 60 or 70 years old. See, if you Either could, way. If you could Skype with your grandchildren, mm -hmm. if you can look in and say, hi, uh, Natasha, how are you? Mm -hmm. uh, you can say to a new customer, hi, uh, Mr. Jones, uh, I've got your product right here. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Sure. And you get that personal touch, and that's what salesmanship is all about anyway. That's great. Lastly here, talk to the people who feel like they're useless at this point in their life, like they have nothing left to contribute. What do you have in the way of giving them some sort of inspiration to say that that is not? I know that's what the thrust of the book is, but speak to them directly right now. Everybody, everybody has a dream. And some are fulfilled and some are unfulfilled. And I guess we're addressing those people who have unfulfilled dreams. I could have been, I might have done, had I turn left instead of right I could and they they feel have a sense of hopelessness and that's the end of life and this is uh, this is the way it ends and is that all there is mm. it doesn't have to be that's all there right. is it's a mindset it, absolutely a mindset yeah. the other part of that is like living in the moment and taking it moment by moment and if you have a dream and you just say I'm gonna take the first step whatever that is the second or third Maybe somewhere along those steps is this book, Catch yeah. Me Up, to see how other people did it, and maybe you can do it too. That's great. I'm excited about Catch Me Up. I'm excited about the movement and how many people it's going to inspire. Guys, go to kickstarter.com, type in Catch Me Up. This campaign is live right now. It's an exciting project. It's going to help a lot of people. 
Uh, a lot of people my age want it for their parents and their grandparents and other family members. It's going to really change a lot of lives. And I just appreciate the time that you spent with us today, Mr. Shatner. Well, I'm and delighted. Thank delighted. you for this being part of this project yeah. and for being the inspiration for writing this book. I think it's going to have a, a great impact on a lot of people. So we Shatner's. really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.